Sam Harris and Paul Bloom just had a podcast. If it wasn't for John Rawls, I think they could be persuaded by Ayn Rand's philosophy. How do we push back against Rawls? Does his influence rival Kant's? No, well, his influence is more direct than Kant, but John Rawls is not possible without Kant. Like Immanuel Kant makes John Rawls possible. Immanuel Kant is, is, is ultimately the ultimate influence on John Rawls. The only way to challenge Rawls, I mean, think about, the, I don't know, I, you know, there's this a whole show dedicated to John Rawls, but his whole, his whole mind experiment in morality about behind an, a veil of ignorance is, is so Kantian, it's so removed from reality, it's so removed from the, from, from the real world, it's, it's so playing head games, playing, you know, supposedly using reason inside your head, disconnected with anything in the real world. So Rawls is very much a Kantian, and, and of course the morality he has, which was represented in one of the questions here, right? The morality is that your primary concern needs to be with those who have the least. And then he comes up with a sophisticated, convoluted, bizarre theoretical framework to justify uh, certain social structures and social behaviors based on helping the poorest of the poor, the ones who need the most. That, that's his whole... His, he starts with altruism and then builds a system to justify his altruism that seems to many people logical, but is actually completely divorced and removed from truth. Ayn Rand has a brilliant essay on Rawls and why his whole approach is completely convoluted and wrong. So the only way to challenge Rawls is to challenge altruism, and it's hard enough to challenge altruism. It's, it's hard enough to challenge altruism um, when, you know, even on this chat, you know, the first question is, okay, I need to, I need to stop here. One second, guys. Um, so uh, people, you know, your primary concern about a social system is with the homeless, then you're motivated by altruism. My primary concern with the economic system is with the productive. It's with the moral, it's with the virtuous, it's with the ambitious, it's with the hardworking. That's the difference. My whole orientation is towards production. My whole orientation is towards virtue. My whole orientation is towards good people. And when you orient yourself that way, you ask yourself, okay, if somebody's even poor, but if they're ambitious, which is the system that's going to help them the most? And I don't care as much about those people who are poor and not ambitious. I'm not building a system around lack of ambition. I'm not going to build a social economic system around, you know, capitalism is that system. So the way to undercut John Rawls is two things. Epistemology, you have to undercut his methodology. Morally, you have to undercut his altruism. All right. Um... It's like Sam and Paul want to support capitalism, but they can't fully commit. Yes, because they, I don't know Paul, but Sam cannot escape his altruism. He cannot escape his Christianity, <laughs> which is kind of funny. In that sense, uh, Jordan Peterson is right. Sam is still a Christian. In his moral code, in his moral teaching, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't been able to give that up. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today.
Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...